for somebody who's always been a coper, that suddenly you realise that you can't cope, that making that first step to say, I can't cope, is a big one. Actually, I was so alone and was very isolated, so I was staying at home all the time. It's been a quite a tough time um, of late. I needed to have some help uh, before things started to get too bad. I hadn't been to the doctor for about five years, six years. Um, I have agoraphobia. I'm just finding it difficult getting out. Quite a lot of patients, um, due to social determinants of health, come and see their GP for non-medical related illness or, or, or problems um, just because they don't know where to go. Um, and us as GPs, we don't know what to do with them and so we often don't give a, a good service. Because it's very hard to go and see your GP and try and explain within 10 minutes what sort of problems you're having. Because I didn't particularly want to go down the, the tablet form again or the medication. So when I discussed with my doctor, he um, referred me to the social prescriber. Dr Sikram, um, my GP here, when I came back to him and said, look, I'm really not coping too well. He sent the email in front of me to say, look, I'm doing it now for you. It was like you could just talk about the things that are worrying you. I come to know about the community centre, that there is the lunch club is going and different activity programmes are going over there. So I can join them, I can make the friends, I can come out from my house. It was just overwhelming because you thought, oh, is this available, is that available? It was actually quite interesting that he was able to say, OK, here's, here's this piece and if you tap, tap, here's, here's another piece. If you look into there, they can help you with this side. He named people so I could go and ask by name. Yeah. You know, and he referred me on so they would call me rather than me having to call them. And having that uh, support mechanism within, the, within Mitcham and the local community um, just made me feel like I could cope. It's just knowing that the people are there now, which I didn't know before. I was totally blind, uh, honestly. I don't have any idea what's going around my community and what type of the uh, uh, social activities are here. I only live behind the community centre. It's only about two minutes walk from my house. I didn't even know there was you know, people there that can help me with stuff. And I, I didn't even know these services existed, and even though I've lived in Merton all this time. Um, I didn't even know there was this help out, out there.